Kissing up, kiss one, two, three. It's as easy as A, B, C. I don't want you feeling bad. Cause feeling sick can make you sad. This is real, it ain't pretend. You love your family and your friends. We should help each other out. Do this dance and dance it out. Wow, wow, wash your hands. When you got a cough, cough, turn your head. Yeah, you gotta clean, clean, clean your space. This is how you keep, keep germs away. Hey, this is Jolene, and I'm here with my friend, Susie. We are going to talk to you today for a few minutes from Mark chapter 7. Um, the story starts where the Pharisees saw Jesus and his disciples, and they were eating without washing their hands. Can you believe that? They weren't washing their hands. And for ceremonial and traditional reasons, they always wash their hands before they're... Sometimes they even wash all the way up to their elbows. Yeah, all the way to their elbows. This was very important to them. So they had many laws. I want to know if you can guess how many laws they had. Um, 30? No. Um, 60? No, more than that. Much, much more than that. Um, 200? No, even more than that. Uh, 513? No. Really? 613. They had 613 laws. Can you believe it? And on top of the laws, they had traditions. They had all these things that they had to study and they had to learn. They were always trying to learn stuff. But if you didn't follow the traditions, you couldn't eat with your friends. You couldn't eat with your neighbors. You couldn't even sell your goods. And you know what? You wouldn't even be able to marry the guy that you want to marry. Yeah. So, anyway, about that, I brought you a prize for helping me today. Oh, I just thank want to say you. thank you. Yes, you're so. Oh wait, I'm gonna need you to wash your hands first. Okay, let's go. All right, so we're here in the bathroom. There is your towel. Here's your soap, and here's your water. So I'm gonna need you to wash your hands. Okay. Okay. I need you to wash them really good. Go ahead and get started. And I want us to make sure she washes her hands. Okay. Oh, clean under those nails. Yes, clean between your fingers. Yes, yeah, scrub more and more. Oh, come on. Scrub the top of those hands. Top of those hands. Scrub, scrub. Okay, you're done. Oh, wait. No, you're going to need to wash a while. Go ahead and keep washing. Yeah, she needs to wash. Scrub. Keep scrubbing until I tell you to stop. So, we talked about those laws a while ago. There was 613 of those laws that we talked about. Well, in order for them to know them, they had to study and they had to practice them all the time. All the time studying, learning. Am I done? No, you need to keep watching. Okay. They were all the time studying and following How these laws. No. No. But while they were doing this, they ended up Can forgetting them up. No. They forgot the most important law. Do you know what that was? Uh, no. It was to love God. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. You can finish. Rinse those things off. I think your hands are clean now. And there's your towel. Okay. So, Jesus and his disciples were eating when the Pharisees noticed, noticed they hadn't washed their hands before they ate. So they couldn't believe that Jesus was okay with that. But Jesus didn't really care a bit about their dirty hands. You know why? 
because they were doing what he wanted them to do. He told the Pharisees that there were more important things to do, and that was loving God and loving others. They were traveling and telling people all about Jesus, and that's what he wanted them to do. He was teaching them how to repent and telling them how to have a clean heart. So that's what we're gonna do today, is we're gonna show the people here how to have a clean heart, okay? Do you have your heart and your marker? Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, so here's our heart when we were born, okay? Right, it's clean, is it clean on both sides? Ah, perfect. It's clean on both sides. Our heart is clean, all clean when we're born. And as we live, our heart gets lots of black marks on it as we do things we shouldn't. So let's talk about some of those things. Um, what happens when you tell a lie? Um, black mark? Yeah. <laughs> black mark, okay. And then, hmm, but this one. Um, what about, like, if you talk back to your parents? Um, I think you'd get a black mark mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. Uh, what about if you hit or punch somebody, if you um, get mad? Yeah. Yeah, definitely that one. Okay. Hmm. What about if you, uh, what about, like, if I pushed my sister? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'd get a big black mark for that. Mm -hmm. What happens if you're in the grocery store and you just, like, put a little piece of candy in your pocket? I mean, it's just a little candy. Yeah. But you still... You still get a black mark with yeah. you. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's unacceptable. Okay. Uh, what would happen if you make fun of somebody? Uh, you'd get a black mark. Mm-hmm. And what happens if you disobey your parents? Yep. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We're doing all kinds of things that's getting our heart all blacked up. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so every time we sin, you want to show them? That's what your heart looks like when you sin. You get all kinds of black marks on it. But you know what we can do? We can get our heart clean again. Do you know how? No, how? Oh, then all you have to do is ask Jesus to clean it up. You just have to ask him to forgive your sins, and then you have to be baptized in Jesus' name. Do you want to baptize your heart? Sure. So she's going to baptize her heart right now. And in this water, when we go down in Jesus' name, that is how we get a clean heart. Jesus washes all the black sins away. Every time that you disobeyed your parents, every time that you were mean to somebody, Jesus took all of that away. That's what he does. And now you have a pure and clean heart. Yay! Good job. So although it's super important to wash our hands, which we learned about that with Susie as she had to wash her hands for like half an hour a while ago, but we learned that it is more important that our hearts are clean, right? Yeah. So you want to share a scripture with them, Susie? Um, and David said in Psalms 51 and 10, create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Right. And then again in Psalms chapter 24, verses 3 and 4, he said, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? It is he that has clean, clean hands, hands and, and a pure, pure heart. heart. We love you. Bye. Goodbye.